Hi, my name is Christopher Yu, and I am in 10th grade from Interlake High School in Bellevue. My question is, in Washington State, there is an interest to grant law enforcement greater power to protect the people of the city, but there is also interest to limit the power of law enforcement and keep law enforcement officers accountable. One example with this is the issue of law enforcement vehicle pursuits. As a lawmaker, how do you balance these different interests? So, uh, Christopher, let me just start by thanking you for asking the question, and I'm just going to say this. I've served both roles. I was a uh, law enforcement officer for almost 40 years, and I'm also a lawmaker. So I can kind of balance those things out. And what I know is that we need accountability. We need accountability from the community, and we need accountability from law enforcement. What I mean by that is that if we're going to hold law enforcement accountable, we need to hold the community accountable. And one of the questions that we're always asked is we're always asked about pursuits. And I tell people this. I have personally managed more pursuits than probably anybody in the state of Washington as a state patrol sergeant, as a sheriff, and as a leader in the community, and they are inherently the most dangerous things that you will ever get involved in. So what I'm saying is this, there are things that we need to pursue for, but I don't know that pursuing uh, a person for property crime and things like that, I'm not sure that those are the kind of things that we want to put the public at risk uh, because we're doing that. So that's how I balance it out. I balance out what is best for the community. And I personally, I'm just not sure that pursuing for every single thing is best for the community. But it's a great question and I appreciate you asking me. Well, <clears throat> unfortunately we've limited law enforcement's ability to respond to criminals uh, while they flee from the scene by limiting allowable vehicular pursuits to very specific situations. It's no coincidence that since we had, well, that we've seen auto theft and property crime skyrocket uh, across our state. Uh, we passed that bill, House Bill 1054 in 2021. I voted against the bill and spoke against it, but criminals are emboldened if they know the police are not gonna uh, pursue them. And when you talk about auto thefts, it's not only the victim who owns the vehicle, but it's all the crime that is committed uh, with these vehicles. Uh, on the initiative, just quickly, Initiative 2113, to allow police pursuits, the voters have gotten enough signatures that the legislature has to deal with. And there's going to be hearings uh, in the Senate and maybe and the House, and uh, perhaps uh, that bill will be enacted by the legislature. If not, it'll go to a vote of the people in November.